Yeah, guess what? Promise is broken on that super long session that I was going to end up doing. I will say that it has been difficult to play Dragon Age 2. Not difficult within a sense where it's just like, oh, this game is hard. Uh, it's difficult within a sense is that I, I inadvertently pretty much burnt myself out from me fucking up and having to re-record sessions. It's one of my least favorite thing to do, but in uh, actuality, it's been about eight days since I recorded Dragon Age, so... <laughs> <laughs> to you guys it's just been a day you know it hasn't been around but for me it's been eight days uh which is perfectly fine so we need to make some choices on what to do let's see go to the old ruins outside the city to apprehend the escaped criminal for the magister of Venard. uh jethend an elf in the blooming rose let's see we'll never do this one because that deals with uh fixing people's relationship problems and that's not worth enough money for our character Look, look for the Viscount's son in Samus Dumard on the Wounded Coast. Find a spider gland. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a couple missions uh, when it comes to related to going outside. Um, let's see. We could bring uh, we could bring Fenris. You know, my wonderful cutie boy. Andrews is just a staple of the team. He's going to be here continuously. Um, hmm... Part of me wants to bring Carver, and I want to know how he talks with Fenris, to be completely honest with you. So, let's see here. We got the Herbalist Task. We got the un Unbidden Rescue. The Herbalist Task Magister's... Okay, so the Herbalist Task is in here, which I, I'm i assuming we're going to fight a whole bunch of spiders. Maybe? We're going to fight a whole bunch of spiders? We're not going to have a very fun time. I, I that, That's what I'm assuming is going to happen. We're not going to have a very fun time. Um. Oh yeah, didn't miss this. The loading screen's just locking up. Not responding. Zatch. As we know, Dragon, uh, Dragon Age 2 is a, a very big game. So much so, it took 12 years of development. It totally did not have a rush development in any type of way. This looks familiar. What the hecky? What the hecky? Can I go down there? Please let me go to a place. Please let me go down there, man. Please, man. Don't don't just cuck me with that. The Embrim. Embrims are flowers from the orchid family. Its therapeutic qualities were actually discovered because of the Embrim's exceptional beauty. The beloved daughter of Lord Ignas Holtz of Orlaris fell victim to terrible sickness of the lungs, which her healers were unable to cure. Thinking, thinking the girl would soon perish, her parents surrounded her in the bed and brightly colored flowers, hoping that they would bring some warmth and cheer in her last days. Oddly enough, the girl began to recover from illness and grew stronger each day, so strong they couldn't stop her. Her parents were baffled but overjoyed. The healers eventually learned that the fragrance of one of the flowers eased the child's breathing. The flower was an embryum, embryum, and later became known as the Salbris Embryum. The other variant that has certain magical properties is known as the Dark Embryum. He's mean and he uses guns. An excerpt from the Botanical Compendium by Ines Aranapse Botanist. So is, Ines was that girl that we ended up finding in the last game. I wonder if they... Uh, right? She's the one that we did the good boy points to bring in... Um, to have her go to the Conclave meeting for... Win? Right? I, I think... I wanna... We ended up learning her last name. Let's see. So Lord... Lord Ignaz Holland. So what... Why Why does this happen? Salubrious. Sa Salubrious. Like, why, why did that become part of the name? How dare you? Look at these mercenaries. Should I just let them burn? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Guys, please. Jesus. Guys, please. Good job, fellers. The danger is past. Are you all right? 
No thanks to this lot, can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. You, though, you're what a man needs. A skilled enthusiast. Ooh. Get to the offer. I was attacked and I responded. What are you talking about? Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm. So, when it, so this guy ends up fucking over his... The crew that he has with him prior. He's like, but you guys... Yeah, I don't think I don't think my character would really like that. Uh, being having a crew paid for, and then and someone else goes like, "Hey, you," like, you know? Is there a job in this rambling? Name is Javaris Tim Top, and I need someone to help me court the Canary. Tim Top? Those hornheads will have a powder that explodes, and it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I have heard of this. It's why their ships are so feared. For some reason, uh, I will say this. It felt like the Kunari were like people who eat sticks and use their babies as weapons. Like what we dealt with with what we dealt with, with Sten, right? That's what they kind of felt like. They also felt like a very, I don't want to say honor bound society, but a very duty led society. Just like 100%. Mm, like, just like, I don't have my sword that I was born with. I'm literally, I'm, I'm not a person. I'm, I'm not even an entity. Like, the sword is the bone of my soul. My arm is the bone of my soul. Right? So, it sounds like magic they offer this to you. So, I wouldn't really know anything about it. So, the best choice would be, sounds like magic to me. Don't know what gunpowder is. So it's some kind of Kunari magic. What use is that to a dwarf? If it is magic, it's a kind you can assemble, and dwarves do that very well. But that Arishak, he won't deal, and I have the same mercenary disease as their outcasts, the Talbashoth. He says I'm not worthy, but he had this <laughs> look in his eyes, so I figure I'll hire some blades and... You're not worthy, And you're going to prove yourself by killing Talbashoth outlaws. Problem being, I'm no warrior, but I can pay. Well, this actually seems very interesting, right? We're pretty much, like, based on our backstory that we ended up picking, us being the smuggler, right? We're pretty much for hire as much as we can. Not because we are that type of person, but because we don't really have a choice to do so right now. Yeah, we are in the city, but we're not really established in any type of way. We finally paid off our debts to Gamlin, right? You know, Gamlin, you know, getting his fucking rocks off uh having a masturbatory kind of fuck us over as part of a revenge for his sister right and then also being a complete lush in the end just making everyone be the bad guy in that situation um let's see dwarves don't have explosives yeah okay so this is very interesting to me due to the fact that dwarves in the ground you know lyrium all that stuff do the is Ferelden just rich in Lyrium and not rich in the stuff that makes the, uh, like the, what is it? What makes a bomb? Mm. <laughs> I don't think I can say that. Or Googling it would be a bad thing. Uh, I remember when I was, uh, staying at my friend's house previously, you know, because of the layover of the tragedy that happened in my life, right? When I lost my house. Um, I ended up Googling, like, Chris Pratt and like something about one of his controversies and Google literally reported one of my uh, one of my searches to the FBI like I got this crazy fucking page on my thing I got like a phone call it, it was uh, it was when Chris Pratt was being a uh, fucking Mario like I, I was googling that but they didn't Some like people that people must have something like that already Small things shaped to crack faults, not shatter oh. the earth. Plus, they're mostly lyrium. Expensive, poisonous, the Chantry controls it topside, the glow makes you a target. Uh, problem after problem. Wait, so that means that all the bombs that we end up crafting are in fact magic based? That's interesting. But no, um, oh, and another thing. Y you know how, like, sometimes there's those, like, gun memes where it's like the gun up close really, really close? Like that I ended up searching uh, like 
what was it? I think it was meme gun PNG or something like that. I ended up searching that and I got another one of those pages. I was like, what the fuck is this? And so I stopped using Google. I just stopped using Google and never seen it again. What's the point? I was when like, I'm not allowed to fucking search the same thing. Maybe okay, you brother. have magic, all tough and human and whatnot. But what of the common man? How does he remove stumps from his land or produce them on his enemies? What does he do when he needs a hole far too fast? Magic is hard to market. But this stuff, this stuff you can put in a bag. Oh my god, we're gonna be rich. Um, and if the coin is good, your plan seems a little weak. Uh, I do it to hunt outlaws. I'm in if the coin's right, good. I'll step in for you. And we for might get price. something that's pretty interesting. I'm Low done tempo. bargain hunting. No. I want it done right. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole just, camp. Just Take two their cuts. heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. Can I, can, can we, oh my god. Hold on. Did you give me the quest, or are you telling me to go back to the fucking place? Go to the Wounded Coast to- Okay, thank god. I was- Okay. So he was talking about, like, oh yeah, like, be sure to grab it for us after the fact. After the fact. And bring it back to us. Okay, because I, I was about to get heated if he was gonna fucking tell me to go be an asshole and go talk to him to get the quest. I was gonna get heated. I was like, I don't want to do that shit. I hate going and loading screens in this fucking game. Cast treaties. Oh boy. What's Varric think about this? Guys, we gotta ask what Varric think about this. Varric would be like, <laughs> Dealing with the Quanari, huh? <laughs> he was like, I've heard a tale many will woven here. The canary are not to be trifled with, if I were you, but <laughs> you are not I. <laughs> I love Varric. <laughs> Varric's so fun. Let's see. Hey, fellas. I've been sent for the man you've cornered here in the ruins. Ah. So you're the reinforcement. Is that the fat Alistair? The man you're looking for, he's holed up in the ruins. Holy! No, I doubt he's still in one piece. Oh, no. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done, just because it isn't you and your pretty little Shemlin children he's after. I'm not gonna lie, the way that they kind of redesigned the elves and giving them different looking body parts and stuff, they look like freak monsters. They look like grasshoppers. What do you mean, pretty, pretty children? You need to get back off. You need to back off. What do you mean? Please calm down Chil and tell children me. Children being hurt? My guy's like the man you're after. He targets elves. He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her. I want him dead. My girl, Leah, uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. Oh boy, uh, this guy wants him alive. I wonder if he is a blood mage. I don't remember the specifics of the quest, to be completely honest with you. But I wonder if he is a blood mage or something along those lines. The fugitive target of Why only elves? Why, Why elves human specifically? Children as well. Yeah. We're easy prey. No one thinks twice when an elven child disappears. Sag. That just straight to the point. And you Would you are... mind telling me who you are? Um, you... My name is Elwyn. I'm a merchant in the city. Please, no one else cares that our children are being slaughtered like beasts. L. Ron Hubbard. I like how this guy is just super there to the point. He's not giving me a soliloquy. He's like, this dude's a fucking asshole. Kill him, please. Them. Even if this murderer does finally go before the courts, the magistrate won't take our word over his. Okay, so, all right, so this is going to be a quandary for our character, right? We're going to think about this a little bit. He's hearing children in danger, which is a plus one towards the elves, right? He's hearing money from this guy, and this guy also promised us a lot, a lot of good shit, right? But our character is not truly evil. He is, I want to say there's a sense of greed there, but not greed to the sense of fucking someone else who's outwardly saying that we need help. Now, if this guy never came along and gave us a second option, we would have just done it, brought him in, even if the guy said, No, you cannot... <laughs> I'm holding back a power that you cannot even understand. Like, okay. 
All right, big guy. I'm not gonna kill anyone. The courts, uh, the courts will punish him, and the man's a monster. Let's see. Uh, from what I hear, the man's a monster. I'll tear his throat out myself. Thank you, Sarah. You have no idea what this means. For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these Shemlin. There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. Oh, he's stealing people from Kirkwall. So this guy's a city elf. All right, I'd help you know. Uh, what do you mean? What about your men here? What do you just, say just about ask all questions. this? Just ask questions. They won't go in after him. They're stalling, trying to give the murdering bastard a chance to get away. Oi, now, elf. Like we said before, you're Chill, bloody fat, mad Alistair. if you think we'll be going against the magistrate's orders. There's a reason why they're scared to go in. I think that place is trapped to all fuck, and we're about to have the urn of ashes thing happen again. Like with. <laughs> all right, I'll help. This murderer cannot be allowed to walk free. Then that bastard will finally get what he deserves. Thank you. Not wise, stranger. You try to take justice into your own hands, the magistrate will have your head. I must do what is right. Hey, man, you you have uh, Templars are after everyone's after me. All right, understandable. There's little kids here. You know, my character's sister died, and then he felt nothing. <laughs> she got squished, and he was like. I like how every chance you get when you end up talking about... What was her name? I don't even know what her name was. Uh, I don't even recall it. We have Carver, we have Walnut, and then ooh, we have Chestnut. I don't even know. Uh, this way we go. What is going on here with this map? Okay, we're going over here. So... Look at this! A Castle spires in the distance. Is this a Dark Souls? <laughs> All right, it's not gonna be cool in here. It's gonna be really dangerous. Oh god, dude. Oh no. Hey, why is he in the ruined passage? I don't know. Maybe because the place looks like a fucking dungeon. Jesus. Here we go, and just, you know, just chilling in a dwarven, you know, deep roads. Deep roads dungeons. Oh, wow. Two, two at the same time? Doing big damage. Big boy damage. Hey, how about you, Anders? Can, can, can you be a part of this? There, fella, don't be like a little whiny little bastard in your room, alone, doing nothing. Of course. Did he feed her to spiders? Like, what's going on here? Is this guy gonna be a spider? Oh my great Google Mosley. Fist of the Maker. Uh-oh. Guys, Jesus, help me, help me. Dude, Carver fights by himself. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. But he's doing Mondo damage, so... What am, what am I to talk shit to him for? Spider Silk Man. That was a special one, Herbalist. Weather Dwarven Capri Suns, I guess. This just looks like trap. Also, this looks like the stuff that I use to make D and D stuff, like stairs, like the assets that I get in Dungeon Painter from the people from the stuff that people made. I hate the fact that Dungeon Painter isn't supported anymore. Everyone has moved on from that, by the way, for D and D map making. It's really scary because I have old assets and no one's updating me assets anymore. You know, those Patreons aren't doing it anymore. They're, they're doing the other one, which is way more difficult to, to learn. Which is uh, dun Dungeon Designer, or whatever the people who made... Oh. Whoever the people who made Wonder Draft. Oh, Dungeon Draft. Like, ooh. Uh, uh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, this looks so cool. This looks like a boss battle wants to be happen here. Right? Oh look, our boy Fenris. Look at you. There are so many mods to make this man look as beautiful as possible. It's kind of insane. Um, hmm. So we need that willpower up, right? Willpower, we, we can't do anything. Nothing can be done if we don't have the power. We need willpower. Oh, look at this. Veneer of Calm. Fenris maintains an appearance of calm, but is only, but is only a facade. Every rune, wound he takes stirs at his deeply buried resentment, increasing his attack. All right, he's he's a character that wants to get hurt, so that's interesting. Berserker. Oops. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yikes! That's yikes! That's a yikes! I might. That, Okay. Again. Okay. Fuck that dude. Uh, I gotta hit as many as I can before I drop. Alright, I'm just gonna... Ooh, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Right there. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're done. He beat us. Damn. Unless he died in that moment. No. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. Yeah, we're dead. Carver ain't letting us out. Thank God I saved before I took Wow, 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 wow. <clears throat> well, that's not good. Uh, what happened there? Um, was bad. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Why didn't I go to my last actual save? Did I not save in there? Okay, so this is we get a second chance to uh, work on this man. Um, Let's see. Taunt. Yeah, let's get that taunt on him. Just due to the fact, uh, let's see, ally. Uh, pff, man, I don't have a, I don't have a character that has taunt, so I don't know how to, how to build her, right? I don't know how to build her too much. Let's see, enemy attacking Avalon, so enemy attacking Fenris. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Any. No. What? What is happening? What is happening? Uh, let's see. Enemy. Attacking party member. Attacking Fenris. And then, yeah, you would just go to attack. Okay, there we go. And then, ally. Oh man, how do I build this? Oh, I completely forgot. God damn it. I ugh. I don't recall how to build it, so we'll just go any, right? And then and that's just how we're going to do it. I uh, that's really bad. Did that save? Yeah, it did. Okay. Very weird. Bones. Let's see. So we'll circumvent the area. We won't go in the middle. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> now that I see what the map looks like. Oh, fuck, man. Well, that's not good. Power of the Wolves and the Howling Moon. That sounds metal as fuck. Does anyone want this? You want the Power of the Moon and the Howling Sun? No? How about you, Carver? Dumb motherfucker. Oh, yeah, just... Just keep grouping up like that. Yeah, just keep doing that. What is happening? If you double click on a character, you switch to them? That's interesting. Was that a thing in the previous game? I don't think it was. It didn't feel like it. 
Anders leveled up. All right, Anders. Okay, buddy. Let's see what we got. Do you have enough willpower? I think you... One, and then we'll do that, right? One, we'll just keep investing one. All right, what do we got here? Okay, so Anders, we have an issue here, buddy. I need you to be a heal slut, all right? We have Vengeance, which is very cool. Health regen, rate, plus 100 for all party members. Diana member, 10 meters. Reserve mana, 40. Oh, my God. Panacea, right? Which, if I'm not mistaken, that's uh, the medical term for penicillin. Right? For the penicillin stuff, that's like the root word for it. Uh, vengeance. While this mode is activated, Anders gains a measure of control over the spirit within him. His attacking spells inflict much more damage. He's become more... He's, he became becomes able to cast Martyr, but he is more susceptible to damage and cannot be healed. Well, that sounds absolutely awful. That's... It, I don't... Oh, man. We'll just never turn on that mode, right? If, if we have to go down there. Let's see. Heroic Aura. Attack. And live with Paralysis. Now, Paralysis is fucking broken. Alright. Greater Heal. He becomes a Tide of Restorative Energy. A health regen plus 40%. Is that just a full heal right there? 40% on the 40%? Or is it 40% of 40%? Right? So. Uh oh. How's that even work out? 40% of 40%. If 40% is 40, 40% 40 of 40 is, what, 10? It's 16. So it's a 16% increase. Why lie? <laughs> Why, why lie like that? How dare you? You make me do math. Uh, I think the Glyph of Paralysis could absolutely help us against horror. I, I think that, that that might work out. I, I think. I don't trust myself in this situation, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but I will play Anders if I have to. I will heal slut my way through it, right? Just like it's a Pokemon Scarlet Raid, and I don't have good Pokemon. I will be a fucking heal slut. I don't care. Oh my god. Second time going into this area and it, and it hanged like that. Alright, alright. Let's see. We're gonna go in here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Andes. We wanna focus on that man over there? Paralysis, please. Please, 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 paralysis. I don't know if you noticed what just happened, but he, he, he teleported. He teleported. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're gonna lose again. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. No taunt. No nothing. No nothing. No nothing. All right. Just gonna. Just gonna do this. Just gonna do this and move. Just gonna do that. Get a hex of torment going. Carver literally got flung across the whole entire fucking floor. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know what we're doing? Everyone's drinking potions. That's what everyone's doing. Everyone's drinking potions. Carver's fucking dumb. Um. We gotta focus on the arcane horror. Let's see what do I got here? What do I got here? I got I got nothing. Right. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Uh, wait till those guys get a little bit closer, maybe? Oh my god, oh my god. Scythe is so cool, man. Okay, I got hit by a move and I flung 10,000 feet away, just like it's Dragon Ball Z. Just like it's an anime. All right, look at me on the ground. Sir, help me. Sir. The mage. I will say it's pretty cool that the Justice Man do do be popping out of him. 
Justice Man Doopy popping out. Is this a different? Oh my god. Okay, so I got a taunt. Uh, do you think I, if I do... Oh yeah. Okay, Carver's dead. He's a fucking idiot. Okay. Dumbass Carver. Stupid motherfucker. Rally, rally foes. Um, hmm. Where's he at? 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 No, stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. I don't think it worked on him. Fenris, you need to survive, sir. Take a drink. Summon the puppy. Oh, I did summon the puppy. Puppy is in fact dead. That's not good. Uh, healing is not up. Oregon. Oregon, no issues. Fenris ended up dropping, but that's fine. Skeleton Archer. Got rid of him. The Mulberry was here the entire time. Did not feel like it. Wait. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Good shit. Good job, princess. Huh? You little disgusting little Rottweiler. You little disgusting. You're gonna eat some babies. All right. So, whether... This place is really, really cool. Whoa. What the... Oh, like, you can see the, uh, the textures not melding together correctly. I bet they didn't expect anyone to look up. It's like, no, no one does that. Why would you do that? Don't do that. Wow, if we went through the south entrance, we wouldn't have to go through this way, it looks like. That's pretty sad. That's sad on my part. Very sad. Lady Leah's here. Please, can you get me out of here? I just want to go home. Leah, your father told us you were dead. My father? Did we Is learn what her name was? Kelder said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. Now, she doesn't look very bug-like. Kelder? Who is Kelder? The man who took me. Are you hurt? You escaped? Where is Kelder? Are you hurt? I don't see any injuries. Are you all right? She's gonna explode into a bug. <gasps> he hit me, told me I was nothing. I begged him to stop hurting me. I didn't think he would, but out of nowhere, he pushed me away and just started crying. Don't you see? He didn't mean to hurt me. He told me. There are demons. They make him do these horrible things. You don't understand. When I hit my wife, it's the demons of alcoholism. What a brilliant excuse. Demons. What kind of demons? She's too young. I, I can't fault her. I she, she's so naive. Don't know what they look like. They gave her pigtails for a reason. I see any of them. But Kelder told me to run. Oh my God, to get away knows. so they couldn't make him hurt me anymore. Please don't kill him. It's not his fault. She is a child and does not understand. Yeah. Her pity yeah, is yeah, admirable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But misplaced. I got you, Fenris. We know what's up. This isn't my decision. I'll try to show him mercy. The man has to die. Can can I not commit? Is there no committing? This is a Bioware game. You have to commit. Oh. Okay. So this is uh this is a conundrum. This is what we call a cubics. This is what we call uh, a knack to, right? Would my character lie to a child? To not make them... Yes. Kelder is dangerous, Leah. If he fights back, I can't promise he won't get hurt. He won't fight you, I promise. Ah, uh, this is oh my Run great Googly Moogly. You'll find your father there. Look at that. Slutty backsplit. They all have it. 
Yeah, that's not good. He's dying, little girl. I'm sorry. You, you had some Stockholm Syndrome with him. He hit you, I, and you were like, oh, I told him to stop. And then, you know, he started crying. Like, sadly, uh, things are not like books. Why aren't this, why isn't this dying? What's going on here? If something's stuck in a trap, does it just not die? Oh, look at that. Anders, literally his ass is... Get over here, Anders. Use your supersonic speed run. What the fuck? You're killing me, Anders. You're killing me. So at least it's not. It's nice to know that I could use multiple potions, right? I don't have to rely on one. Okay, here we go. Oh. I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. My boy! Save my boy! Oh, boy. All right. A little bit more complicated. I think Fenris is going to get mad at me. He came here to die? You wanted those creatures to kill you. Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart. Forgotten down here. Not protected by my father. Why? Why steal the girl? If this is your... If this was supposed to be your suicide in a disgusting dungeon, why would you steal the little girl? What's going on here? I wasn't sent by your father. You aren't what I expected. I'd rather kill you myself. You aren't what I expected. From the Magistrate's vague description, I expected a hardened criminal, not a whining coward. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. Oh, no wonder that He's guy. tried so hard to keep me and what I've done hidden away. Are you a blood mage? Is not that what's going on? enough, so it seems. He's ignoring his duty, he's protecting his position, he's protecting his position. The Magistrate's more worried about keeping his job than doing his job. Father is a good man. He tried to help, to stop me. But he can't. No one can. Oh. <laughs> that elf girl. She had no right to be so beautiful. So perfect. The demon said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. No, don't be a broken mage, please. You're gonna make my character sympathize with you. Oh. Why did you let the little girl go? Leah Why? said you told her Why? to run. Why? I was crying and she asked me if I was all right after everything the demons made me do to her she was concerned about me <sighs> how could I let them destroy something so good so yeah pure. oh my god I hate the way this guy talks uh that's why you killed him let me get this straight okay I gotta hear you if he's killed other people and murder elven children for being too beautiful while blaming demons that aren't there he's just mad I... I didn't want to hurt them. They forced me. The demons don't like it when they cry. <sighs> yeah, my character would feel sorry for you. It's obvious that you're not well. You need help. No. I'm not mad. It's the demons. Real mages suffer enough without charlatans like you making it worse. <laughs> I can't stop. I've tried so Anders. many Anders! Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. He sees the truth of it. Allow me to grant his wish, if you will not. <sighs> Any last words before he kills you, Kelda? Tell my father. I'm sorry. Oh, heart grab. Um, 
this was not a good situation. This was not a good situation at all. If I knew there would be a chance to have him be helped and fixed and all that stuff, you know, once you go to the other side and you tug those strings, there's really nothing else you can do. That sucks. That sucks, man. He says the demons and whatnot, and you are connected to the Fade, right? So, like... we all, There was also another character who had this issue, and we forced... I remember someone in Origins, we forced someone to... to be you to saved her! My little girl! I He's didn't like, get yeah, help. go through the circle, you'll get help. Did you find that monster? Is he dead? Hey, can you tell your daughter to leave during this conversation? Don't need he won't harm Leah or anyone else ever again. I didn't believe an elf could ever get justice in Kirkwall. I speak for all of us when I say that we are in your debt, Sora. I feel just as bad for those knife ears as the next man. But ignoring the magistrate's direct orders, that's madness. We're really gonna bury ourselves during this playthrough, aren't we? God damn it. One, another cool thing. I love the fact that Fenris was like, yeah, I'm gonna give this guy what's what. I'm gonna stab him in his fucking dick. Oh my god, look at that. All the Blackwater stuff, which I definitely do wanna do, so. <laughs> 